Hi, I'm Mark Cleborn. Welcome to the Photography Academy. And uh, basically, uh, a kind of a sneaky film that we've actually done on location while doing a job here at the Olive Tree in Bath, which is a, rest a restaurant that my uh, eldest son, Chris, is head chef at. And uh, we're here actually doing some kind of funky food images for their advertising as well as anything else. During today's shoot, there was uh, one of the dishes I needed to light paint. And uh, because we were using natural light on this specific image, um, instead of being able to use some kind of flash, we were using um, a stack of images, so a variety of images, where um, I basically had Sam to just kind of move in and light different elements. And what we'll then do is blend all those images together, and I'll show you how to do that in Photoshop, um, just to kind of reveal that main kind of finished image. I know we can go in there and add a little bit of highlight and kind of the dodge tool and so on and so on, but I'd much prefer to do it with real exposure if possible. Uh, years ago with transparency, it used to be called stripping in, in fact, a very, very expensive te technique, and that's why we used to make sure we did it in, ca in camera, because most clients can afford to do that. Let's go with the bottle as well. Yeah, I'll give you a bottle of Alsace, actually. Yeah, let's go for a different one then, is it? So swap the... Do you want the glass still, Josh? Or... Uh -huh. Do you want the glass for that one still? Yeah. Um, Sam, I just need that reflector card to light the... That's it. So it needs to come off. It um, needs to start, go the other side. That's it. Okay, how to, how to touch, how to touch. That's it. Okay, let's take it backwards for me, please, Joss. More. More, yeah. More, 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 more. Okay, let's take the uh, alight. Let's take the bottle across towards here and the glass with it. Right over to the left-hand side, please. I just need to light up that um, uh, food just a little bit more. See this potato? What? What is it there? The oh, yeah. That's the, beginning. That's the leg. Oh. Can you give a little bit of light to that for me? No, you're in in shot. Still in shot. It has to come out from the left. Okay. What I'll do? Pass the trolley for a minute. We'll stack them. Yeah. Where's the sauce going to go? White sauce. Yeah. Oh, better again. Yeah, the wild oh, now he says. This is like what brings this. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. You're all stunned by it. Yeah. No, get out a minute, you. Got to do the main shot first. He's keen. If I give you a call, then. Take the uh, wine bottle and the glass backwards. Okay. So first shot is the. Okay. It's like the flesh. That's it. Like the ball. More. Like the edge of the green stuff. Like the back edge, the, the tip of the... Uh, your light's coming in from behind, mate. I'm not sure if you know that. It's the window light's giving you the light. That's it. And like the top, top of the board as well. Mirror it. That's it. You're there. Okay, done. We'll stack those. So in this quick Photoshop section we're going to be looking at how we're using those images we shot on location to kind of stack them as far as uh, kind of lighting with just that bit of foil and so on with it. So uh, as you can see if I just kind of switch on all the other uh, layers um, we basically um, have the different positions where the foil is and it's designed to illuminate each section. Well of course I don't want to kind of 
you know just steal little bits from each one what I want to do is just illuminate the part I've already kind of labeled these as you can see on the side here chicken chicken spud pea puree and those are the ones that's the part I actually want to kind of illuminate so it kind of makes it easy for me the first thing I need I need to do is bring in a mass to each one so just on the bottom of the layers palette by clicking onto the alt key as I press it uh, it comes in with a black mask so if I just kind of do that through each of these layers selecting each of these layers in turn then um, pressing and clicking onto the alt, uh, alt and then the uh, mask tool as I go in through you can see it kind of hides everything from above so now in fact I can just go in and work on the bit so just zoom, uh, zooming in there with the scroll wheel and all I've got to do now is uh, press, uh, press B for brush uh, D for default uh, which basically puts white on top and black underneath over here on the kind of default colors and then what I need to do so this is the chicken so um, I'm just going to go in now and start to kind of paint in the light that's all I've got to do and that's that one part done I can then click down onto the next one and this is chicken again so I think this is for the top of the chicken part here just on this little small part just gonna bring a little bit of that cabbage alive as well I think and then the next one down this is the spud so this is where the potato is going to be nice and bright and alive and then last but not means least I can just actually go in and click on to the puree part itself and uh, again let, let's not forget even though I'm doing this in the likes of the stacking mode I'll show you a quick way now in a minute that you can actually do it on the raw file but I prefer to do it with the natural elements that are within the photograph itself so I can go back in at any stage and then with this PSD file it's a multi-layered file all I'll go ahead and just save it and by saving that file it means that I can go back to it at any stage and actually uh, kind of get the whole kind of look back okay there is a little thing that I need I need to do here you can see that just on that chicken there's a little bit of a, a kind of a bit of skin that's actually just dropped down there and so on with it so what I'm going to do is just click on and just uh, create now a new um, uh, layer so um, then I just want to kill it, pick up the clone stamp tool and then I just need to go in and make sure that uh, I've got all the current below here as you can see on the layers so when I'm going to clone so just kind of clicking onto a part here and then I can just go in and just retouch out any of the imperfections on that and so on with it and that's pretty much how we do the basic image stacking uh, within the likes of Photoshop itself let me just save that again and just in case you're not sure how to kind of align kind of layers up let me just go and grab uh, I don't know, two for you a minute open those up once more and uh, you can see here here's my other file I'm just gonna click on the move tool and then drag it up to the other pane and then just before I release it press the shift key and it automatically puts it back in the place if I didn't press the shift key as I move, moved it across basically it would just actually move itself to somewhere on the plate uh, somewhere on the uh, image I should say kind of thing with it so um, as I said to you that's that's what I would do if I wanted to image stack with the light uh, the light in another way would be to do it with the raw file so if I just go and click into this uh, main image here which is the raw file double click onto it and then it's going to open up in raw now what I want to do is just obviously work on the food itself so um, if you look at the top of the uh, bridge window here the camera the camera raw window I should say we've got the adjustment brush so if I just kind of click onto that you'll see that the palette over on the right hand side here uh, kind of come comes alive so all I need to do now is actually swipe across to uh, increase the parts I want to do so in this point I want to reduce the clarity down just increase the bright brightness then I click on to new and I can work on the different elements as I go and the only reason I'm clicking on new there is to make sure it's a different density around the plate then when I finished I can go back to the overall image create the the, the, per, the perfect kind of uh, illumination for the image itself I add a little bit of clarity in there for the sharpness of the mid-tone Coming up to my sharpen as well, and then we're pretty much done. But the key point for that film, of course, was to show you how to kind of image stack and bring bright brightness to the sections that you uh, you wanted because you shot those images already on location.